Davis here. Who's this? Wait, I'm going outside. Hey, I'm sorry, but I told you I can't help even if I wanted to. Why are you calling me then? I made it clear that I can't help you. If you don't stop bothering me, I will not hesitate to call the police. Wait. Why am I even talking to you? I'm gonna hang up. What now? I've got work to do, and I'm sure you must be a busy man as well. I cannot tell you. Please don't test my patience. We are done here. I told you I cannot help you. Mr. Davis told me I should journal. It helps with untangling one's thought process. Little does he know I love penning my thoughts down. The good part about today is that it's Brad's birthday and I can't wait for him to see what I got for his special day. Here's an update. Um, I think I gave too much of myself to people around me who didn't care about me at all. Yes, I'm talking about Brad. I got him a pendant with our initials on it. It cost me my savings. It was supposed to be this romantic keepsake. But I realized I did all this for nothing. 
He's the most ungrateful person on the planet. He had a look at it and tossed it behind the couch. I was hurt. I wonder if all relationships go through this, or if I am in the wrong one. Hey, um, I just saw the missed calls. I'm sorry. My phone died last night, and the weather was terrible, so I stayed at a motel in Hayburg. It's not like I wanted to stay away. I had no other choice. You didn't even ask if I was okay. The first thing I did this morning was to call you. I left you a couple of texts yesterday morning, but you never replied. You never called me back. Don't you dare say that. Don't you dare try to be the greater person, sacrificing everything for your family. Because you are not. You just care about yourself. Your agency. Your cases. And I don't see myself in it anymore. I'm home. I want you to come back home tonight. We need to talk. Trying won't save us forever. It's always your fallback, and someday there might be nothing left. I need to check on Jim. We'll talk later. Don't expect this to be easy. Okay, I'm doing this. I can't live in fear anymore. I need to do something about it. It's enough. I need to face whatever is there on the other side of the door. I don't have a good feeling about it. I mean, what can go wrong, right? Whoever is behind all this, I'm going to find them. There must be a reason that they are after me. I can't let mom or dad know about it. I can't let anyone know about it because I know they'll try to stop me. 
but I need someone on my side just in case things go south. Maybe this is crazy. What am I even doing? 